I'm here to discuss restoring color in a photo. I have four photos here. It's often easy to scan four at a time. This layer is locked here. I have to unlock the layer. I can just double click, hit the OK. That's done. What I'm going to do, I'm going to crop this down. I go into here, get a rectangle around it. That is cropped down. What I have to do is do a file save as. I don't want to save the file. File. Save as. Grand Canyon 1. I have four of them. I'm going to show you two. I say OK. So I've got the first one done. I'm going to open up the recent file. Open recent. Old scans. And again, I'll just double click. OK. And I'm going to work with this photo here. Crop it. It's a little off here. Pull this in a little bit more. Okay. And I'm going to do File, Save As, Grand Canyon 2. It's a PSD, Photoshop document. I'm using Photoshop CS6. So I've got that. I've got this. What I want to do here, I'm going to be using adjustment layers here. <clears throat> I have a little bit of border showing there. I just pulled that in a wee bit here. There's a couple of quick things you can do, but I'm going to be working with adjustment layers in a minute. And if I see how I have that little bit there, what I could do right now, believe it or not, I could go into the spot healing brush tool. Narrow it down a bit and just pull it right over here. Fills in the sky pretty nicely here. It's faded. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the layer. Command J, Control J. What I typically do is do the Control Shift L. Looks a lot better. You might want to enrich it here. What I'm going to do at this point here, I have the adjustments here. You don't have this or you have limited ability with a uh, elements you have a lot of things here i could go into curves see how you have this little layer here i can pull this down up I'll go into here and then you have the rgb i can go into the red adjust this a lot of this is personal preference here i'm not saying i'm doing something perfect it is a quick tutorial green Ooh, I don't like that at all. Ah! You can create something really psychedelic if you want. I'm talking about the restore, restoration here. I'm not crazy about what is going on here. I get it back to the zero here. I can go into blue. You, can, you just have to pull the dials back and forth here. And what it is here, I hide this layer up here. Some people may like this. If you don't like it, what I do, I click on it, delete it. Okay. Other thing you can do, you can do a lot of things here. You can go into the vibrance here, make it a little bit brighter, the colors. I'm just being dramatic here with the saturation here. And if I shut that off, turn it on, it looks a little bit better here. You've got the levels here where you can go into the RGB here. What it is, by doing these layers here, you're not destroying the original one. And I pull this over to the left, the right here. And I'm going to make it back to zero, or one, I should say. And I could also, let me pull this in a little more so you can see this better. I can go over on this side here. And then I can go into the green. A lot of this takes time. You've got to be patient when you're doing this. I'm going to go into the blue. And if I hide this, watch this. I hide this. I'm going to go to the original layers here. Clear. This is the original photo. This is here. Not bad. I can shut that off. Put that on. I can shut this off. I have all these on here. Let's say I am totally thrilled with this. I'm going to save the file.
control S. Okay. Save it there. Command S here. I have this photo here. I've spent a lot of work on here. This was taken pretty much on the same day. Within like 20 minutes of each other. Many, many years ago. So what I'm going to do. Show you a shortcut here. I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to undo. Float to a new layer. Looks better here. Now watch this. I've got this. I'm going to go into this photo here. You see these two layers here? I select the two. I drag them into here. They're now in there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to shut these off. This is the original photo. We've got this. Got that. A little bit better here. Or I could shut that off here. And let's say you like it. You've got these layers here. There are other layers you can do in here. You could go into brightness contrast here. And I'm just going to play with this here. Make it brighter. I can change the contrast here. Make it. Sometimes you might want to do that too. Uh, I go into the levels here. This is a little tricky. It can work here. I go into here. Exposure. I can go here. Bleach it out. Make it dark here. I don't like that. Just delete the layer here. You can just choose any layers you want. This one here. Hue saturation. You're not going to really use this. I'm going to show it here. You can colorize the photo. You can make it monochrome here. Sometimes I do say by doing that, you can give it a nice antique look there. I'm just going to shut this layer off. And it shows the names of what we've done in here. This is the color balance. This can be effective. Make it a little red or brown. This here, working with the magenta, this. A little more green there. So if I shut that off, turn that on. A lot of this is subjective. And I did... You can create a black and white one here. If you want to do an Ansel Adams type of thing here. New photo filter, adjustment layer. Going through the basics here, when I'm doing these classes... Um, selective color. I've not used that one a lot, though. I'm just going to delete that layer here. And channel mixer here. Other things here. What I'm saying is experiment with this here. A lot of the things I tend to use, they got this posterize here. What it is... You can make it look like a poster where it breaks things down. This has the levels there, 28 levels there. It doesn't really show up too much, um, but it can be effective if you're trying to create something graphic. Trying to show you a few of the basics here. These photos look considerably better than what they were originally. I go back here, shut everything off. The original to this, to this, to this. Go over here. You know, I've done the same thing. Takes time. Be patient. But you've given some sparkle to some old photos.